Hi guys, and welcome back to the continuation of us building our house by the Mekong River. Uh, this is now about a month and a half further on from uh, the last video that I produced. Uh, we had the, the land office out the day before this, this first little scene here. I couldn't hang it out because it was an absolute circus. So there's no videos from the guys coming out and actually measuring the land. <coughs> uh, so we jumped forward another day to the, the guys uh, just arriving here. These are the guys that are going to be building the wall. And what they do is, and I didn't realise this, is they actually manufacture everything on site. So this large frame that they're pulling out here uh, can make two fence posts uh, at, at one time. Uh, they mix the concrete up uh, on site here uh, to make the posts, but as you'll see later on in the, in the video, we we'll actually put the, the panels in between the posts that they got a little bit of concrete delivery. The concrete just put straight in between the walls. So, at the start of the day one, they, they sort of had to chop all these trees down here. Uh, there's a banana tree in that corner. So the guys, they do everything, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, they are just obviously looking at where the, the land up is put in the marks. And uh, they just sort of start to uh, figure out where they're going to start the wall. Now the wall, the whole wall is going to be a metre above ground level. which means we have to actually bring in quite a bit of uh, landfill as the land slopes off quite, quite dramatically towards the back. Well, when I say dramatically, it's, uh, it, it slopes off by about a metre from some halfway down. Uh, excuse my big thumb over this little bit, but these are just, uh, just the posts that they're making. They sort of make up a metal frame, put it inside, and then put concrete in, put the mix up. We jump on now. This is another. I think, I think this is actually two days later, uh, and they've already put in, I believe, six six panels so far. Now, what they do is they they, they make the posts first, and they, they measure them, they put them in, and then these uh, these metal uh, sort of structures just clamp together on either side of the, the post and they're bolted together at various points and what you can see in the video is you've got some little sort of blue holes and what they use is they use like a plumber's pipe uh, and they put them over the bolts that come through and uh, when they take it off you're left with a series of holes and it, it allows for drainage, it allows for, for various things for food support or anything like that, food support and that. It's quite a genius actually. Uh, so the guys are actually just clamping on here at the minute. Uh, it's usually a guy working in the house at this corner here. Uh, this is the guy uh, cutting the, the pipes. The, 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 the wee pipes are used to put in a lot of spaces as well so they, they keep the, the, the two metal plates uh, at the same distance apart so you end up with these, these fantastic concrete panels. These, these panel things were an absolute ton. Um, as you get further down, you'll see that they're, they're lifting them in place. And they're just using things for the land, they're using the bamboo, they're using, they're using sticks of the trees they've cut down at the top. Uh, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. So it's, it's looking very good. I mean, the wall is perfectly level. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later on, there's, there's this pipe that you use uh, and it's just a rubber hose and it's, it's, it's long, it's about maybe 10, 15 metres long and it's just got water in it and, and as you know water finds its own level so what they do is just hold it up at one post, take it to the next post 
run it up the post and they just mark the two water levels and you end up and it's absolutely, it, it's ingenious and it's, it works, it's perfect. And as you can see for the, the wall, I mean, it's perfectly level and it runs perfectly level all the way from the front to the back. Now the front bit here, there's a post line there, they're actually going to put one panel along the front here because we need to keep the front completely open. Uh, we don't want to put the wall up there this we spoke to the guy that said it's going to be delivering the, 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 the info for us, and he reckons about 100 lorry loads. And it's 400 baht a lorry load, which is about 10 pounds, probably not the current uh, exchange rate, and it's probably far the same dollars uh, for a lorry load of air. The land's going to come up. If you have a look at the wall there, you'll see the, the, the blocks and you'll see the, the the line along the bottom of the, the land where that can bring it up to that level. So as you can see, as it, it slopes off, we'll need to come up probably about a metre at the back uh, to get it on level. They are putting, as, as it goes further back, they're putting in internal supports uh, for the wall strapped it and then once the land the, the oil itself the soil is put in on top of those you won't see them. Uh, this is then making the, the posts, the longer posts for the for the back end because as you as you can see that as the land goes down you need to start making the posts longer and longer. Uh, it's probably going to be a thing at the back uh, double panel high so it'll be two meters high but obviously the bottom panel the bottom meter you won't see uh, the land, the the land beyond the back, so it's just a food delivery again. <laughs> we always come at the wrong time. So the land at the back here, just in front of those banana trees, uh, was probably about maybe ten feet. That's public land, but we're allowed to use it. So we're actually going to infill that as well. Yeah, that'll. Uh, that will offer some support at the back of the wall as well. And we're also putting a little gate at the back uh, to allow us access to, to that little bit of land. Obviously, we can keep using these bananas and the, the bit land at the back we can, we can sort of farm it and plant things in it. Now, we've also got the electricians in. Uh, we need some sort of uh, power while we're building the house and while the guys are doing this work. So, we were using uh, a sort of extension that runs along the back that all the, the, the people that are farming kind of tap off of but it's not it's not ideal and it's not perfect for when, when we're using machinery when we start building the house so they're running this cable there's two cables uh, there's no hearth strings on that so any any electricians there back in the UK just ignore what you see here now they fitted this little box for us uh, there's a, a 30 amp breaker in it. Yeah, that thing on the right is a switch for switching the power on, for switching your electric on and off. Uh, they've put like two double probes or something, uh, which will give us, uh, I think with this cable, I think we're, uh, we're, we're, we're okay with about 50, 50 amps, I believe. Uh, I'm hoping that we're going to leave that cable coiled up at the back. Absolutely sure they'll, they'll cut that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the door isn't a great fit, but like one of the hinge, hinge, uh, hinge pins is missing, so the guy's coming. Cut, the guy's coming back to the anyway. Now he's fitted these poles as per time regulations. Uh, unfortunately, they're not quite sturdy enough for the weight of the cable he's got on them. So he's going to this pole in the middle here. This one you see now uh, in the middle is a sturdier pole that wasn't there previously. And the cable is almost sagging down to the ground. So he's put this pole in, and it's far more sort of rigid. So he's replacing that one at the far end. You can see it's being held up to the bamboo posts, and he's also replacing the one in the lead that's got the, the little box in it. And there's also a pole that's fitted in the back garden of uh, 
for this house that you're about to see here. You can see that post there, you can see the cable sort of sagging down across this water there. And it runs forward, the cable runs forward past that satellite dish and it goes to the main, the main road where the, the main cables come in. Uh, it's, it just wasn't happy with it. it. It's only a temporary supply. The electricity company is actually in the, in the process of fitting a proper, sort of like a, a proper cable run along with the front of the, on the plots of land on this, this side of the road. At the minute it stops probably about two or three hundred yards along the road. But they are putting it in. So this is just a temporary supply just to just to allow us power uh, while we're building the house. This 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 water at the back here, these, these are actually man-made ponds and they're, they're dug out and allowed to fill the water in the rainy season. And what they do is they use that water in the dry season, which is now, although it's raining this morning. And they, they just put little pumps, little diesel pumps, or a little electric pumps, which is why there's, there's these extension cables run right along the back. And they use it for the uh, vegetables, uh, because there's not a lot of rain from sort of the next few months. Some people pump it up from the, the, the Mekong River at the the opposite side there. So this is the wee bit of land just to the right of that floor there going back to the sort of banana palms. We can uh, we can farm on that, we can use that to do whatever we want with it. So we're putting the gate in there just to allow us access and we're also going to lift that, uh, that, that land in the back there. It makes it up there probably about a metre uh, just to offer some support for the back wall because the back wall is going to have a wee bit some, even though it is supported on the inside with, with these, uh, these like, supports that come out of an angle and they're, they're concreted uh, together so there's like a concrete post comes out and then it goes down into the ground. This is just, <laughs> I was actually looking, this is our, uh, my girlfriend's cousin's little bit of land and he planted this corn about a month ago pretty well, I must say, and it's absolutely lovely, I'm not too sure on the, the, the type of corn this is, but you get various types in Thailand, and you get a corn that is called, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like, it's it, it's white, white and black kernels inside it, and it's really, really, really sweet, it's absolutely gorgeous, you don't need any butter or anything in it at all, you just, just boil it up. And it's lovely. You get the traditional uh, sweet corn, which is yellow. And you can't remember the name, which I think sort of like, uh, I think it's all just white. But yeah, I never realised that. Back in the UK, we get yellow corn, and that's it. So, anyway, I'm waffling on you. So, this is, uh, <coughs> this is just the, the guys. They've actually done, I mean, they've done a lot of work. I mean, this is day five, and they have got, I think, 15, 14 panels up on that side, and three on this side, and they're, they're putting another three in. They're having to split the sides that they do now because the, they can only do half a panel at a time on the other side of the, the, lower, the lower bit of the plot. So they're working their way down here. So anyway guys, uh, thanks for, for watching that and I'm sure there will be more to come. Uh, it'll be about a week before the, we finish this wall and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll see how it looks. So I uh, thank you very much for, uh, for watching. Uh, if, you've, uh, if you've not subscribed, please do so. Give me a wee thumbs up. That kind of helps the, the videos keep rolling. And. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how, how it comes along. Uh, we've we'll, we'll picked a design for a house, so we're we'll just waiting on the plans for that. And uh, well, that's about it for this one. So, from North Thailand, by the banks of the Mekong River, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Uh, goodbye for now.